Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today we are going to look at coin changing problem. So the question is, given coins of different denomination and a total, how many ways these coins can be combined to get this total? So if the denominations of the coin are 1, 2 and 3 and a total is 5, how many different ways we can get 5? So we can get 5 different ways, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, 2, 2, so 5 different ways. So how do we find the total number of ways? So we'll use dynamic programming to solve this problem. So the way we start is we write 0 to 5 on the column. And on the rows, we'll write 1, 2, and 3. Alright? So now, we'll start from this point, okay? So we'll ask ourselves, if we had one total and one coin, how many different ways we can get one from one? Just one way? If we have two, and if we have one, how many different ways you can get two if you just have one coin of one. So just one way, which is one and one. Similarly, three will be one, four will be one, five will be one. So basically what this means is, if we have a total of five and you just have one coin of denomination one, there's only one way you can get five and that's five ones. All right, let's introduce two into the picture. So if you have a total of one and if you have two coins, one and two here, 2 is not going to play any role because 2 is greater than 1. So we just get the value from the top, which is 1. Now let's look here. Let's fill this 1 with zeros. So to get to, let's fill this 1 with 1s. So here, so now you have one and two, you have total of 2 and you have 2 coins 1 and 2. How many different ways you can get 2? So your answer will be all the ways you can get twos using one only and all the ways you can get two, you, you go back two steps in this point. So addition of these two guys, which is two. So basically you're saying all the ways I can get two using ones and then since you introduce a new coin two, you can, there's one way you can get two using two. So basically for two, you are saying one and one and then just two. Let's look at three. So if you have a total of three, and if you have two coins, one and two, how many different ways you can get three? One value is coming from the top, so one, and another value comes from here. So addition of this guy and this guy. So that's two again. For four, the value coming from top, and the value coming from here, so three. For five, value coming from the top, and value coming from here, so four, so three again, sorry. So what this means is, if you have two coins, one and two, and if you have a total five, there are three ways you can get five using just coins one and two. So the idea is to get the value from the top, plus you go back two steps, and however many ways you can get three using one and two, you can get to 5 using the same coin too. So the addition of these two guys gets us here. Let's use 3. So we get the, since 3 is greater than 1 and 2, we just get the value from the top, so 1 and 2, okay? So here, so to get 3, we already know if we use coins 1 and 2, we can get 3 using two ways. And now we introduce 3, so that is addition one, additional one way we can do it. So that's 3 total. All right, four. So we know that using just coins one and two, we can already get four in three ways. And if we introduce three, we can get it another one way. By that, how do we get that value? We get three steps back, we go three steps back here, so which is one. So that's four. Here, to get five, we already know that if we had one and two, we could get five three ways. And now, when we introduce three, we go three steps back from here, so two, 
So two and three. So total of five is. So this is your answer. So if you have a total of five, and if you have coins one and two, we can get total five ways in which one and two, one, two and three can be combined to get five. What will the formula look like? Something like this. If j is greater than or equal to coins i, then t of i j will be equal to t of i minus 1 j plus t of i j minus coin i else t of i j is equal to t of i minus 1 j. You can find the full solution at this link github.com mission piece interview wiki. Thanks for watching this video.